What is up, guys? We are doing a fun one today. I say a fun one. It looks pretty cool in this packaging. It's the Jabe's Cutlery. It's the Bear Claw Knife. It's in this cheap little blister packaging, but it's got a cool little picture of the uh, bear on it. Nice little Hulk, Hulk, Hulk bill uh, blade on it. So let's dive into it. Let's see what this thing's got. My name is My name is My name is My name is All right, let's open this thing up, see what it's got. The uh, picture on this thing, that bear. I thought that was pretty neat. I think I ended up getting the last one in stock or they said more was coming, something like that, but Classic Hawkbill Bear Claw, huh? First thing, let's get a close up on it. It's got a wood right here. A little wood handle. A wood handle. I don't know what you would call that, but Hawkbill blade. Flip it over. There's the back of it. It's got the little carabiner right here. The blade on it seems. Well, I don't know. It's hit or miss on that blade. So let's go and test this thing out and see what it's got. All right, see how sharp this thing is. I don't, I'm not too confident about it, honestly. It's got a little bit of here, but I'm having to almost saw it. It's not just coming off clean. But let's test it out. If we can. Well, it did catch, but as you can see, it doesn't rip. I mean, it rips when you get it going. So, see right there, these rips. But it will slice on down. The point on it is actually not too bad. And with the hawk bill like this, you can, uh, when you come in, you can still use it almost like the karambits, where you can just rip down on the paper. So, you know, Throw it on a sharpener once or twice, this thing might actually end up being pretty good. All right, let's get a close up on it right here. The um, it's no assist on this thing at all, so it's not really as cool as I thought it was. There's no real handle to it, it's just that piece of wood that's sitting right here. It opens smooth, it's a frame lock knife, as you can see, it just comes right here because it is part of the frame. And then you just push down, close. Now, it would be neat, you could um, hook that to your belt loop, your bug out bag, just to have a simple knife. There's no thumb stud at all, which is kind of odd because you would want it to. See, if I had a thumb stud, I could just pull that thing out. So, this is gonna be a two-handed knife. However, it does look neat. It's super lightweight. I mean, super lightweight on it, but, I tell you what we'll do. Let's go clip this thing to our belt since there is no belt clip at all and just see what it looks like. Maybe I might pull my bug out bag and flop it on there and see too. But right now, I'm not feeling this knife too much. All right, no belt clip on this knife, but we'll see what it looks like in the pocket. With the weight, it's probably not gonna be able to tell at all. I know if I had a jeans on them that I have on in some of these videos, you can tell, but the print is not bad. Super lightweight. Now, of course, it doesn't have a thumb stud, so you gotta almost use two hands to do it. But you open it up and it's ready to ride there. If you were to clip it on here, which I could see this actually being okay, and I'll go clip it to my keychains, but the concealed side of this isn't bad. And then you, when you're ready to ride, Pull it off if you have a bug out bag, just clip it right there on the top. So this could be just a get up and go knife, you know, something easy that you can clip to you. I know some people clip their keychains to their little carabiners, but that's it. It's super lightweight. In your pocket, you're not gonna be able to fill it, but this seems to be more of a clip on and almost just like, hey, grab this thing, clip it, and let's ride. But that's it, guys. Okay, so. Still not too impressed with the knife, but let's measure this thing out. Let's see what we're looking at as far as the length goes. Well, let me turn it like this. Maybe y'all can see it a little better. Overall length, we got 
six inches right there at it rather the blade is a two inch blade so the size of the knife is not bad but let's try to get this thing and not even four inches so three and three fourths inch as far as the uh, knife goes when it's closed super lightweight all stainless steel you got the only piece of wood really the only thing on this knife is that piece of wood other than the metal frame that it's got so let's zero this thing out yeah 1.8 not even two ounces so super lightweight knife that's a plus if you're going to clip it to a bag and have this thing with you so i see the positive side of that so super lightweight knife well there it is the jabe's cutlery bear claw frame lock knife it's uh you know it's hit or miss I, I don't like the fact that it doesn't have the belt clip and i mean the only thing you have is this wood handle right here super lightweight i definitely would clip this on you know a bug out bag and it's gonna probably to be too big for you know your keys but overall not a terrible knife blade actually was a little bit better than i thought so guys that's it um you can find these online i was looking for the actual amazon link and they had it but they were out of stock but the um matter of fact i might post that down there anyway but anyway this is it it's really all it's things about so guys if you like this video let us know if you want to see us do any other knives let us know in the comment section below be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one